Well, salute to Mondo there, my fellow chumsters out there in the universe. I'm playing Starfield. Heck yes, I am. Where are we going today in Starfield? Well, let's jump into game and find out, shall we? Heck yes. I do love this lovely music. I really do. Right up. Well, we've already done that planet. Well, I say planet. It's a freaking moon, mate. Uh, okay. Demios Armored Transport. Well, we'll leave that alone for now. We've got Cura Beam over this side. Apparently, it's got two resources. Let's travel to that area of space. It's not far from where we are. There we go. We're en route to Cura Beam. Let's scan Cura Beam. There we go. Scanned. Hop a char. Okay, right, well, I think if we just land right there in this little puddle, we'll be fine. Hold on, is this the light side of the planet? Ooh, it's starting to go dark. Let's go over here a little bit. Right, oh, so, yeah, if I land somewhere around there. Yeah. Oh, there's a civilian outpost, actually. We'll go to the civilian outpost, people. Let's go down there. Down, thundering across the stars, Jace and the Will Warriors search for the mighty root of the Runei, the Lightning League, to victory. Okay, here we go. Let's head on out then, people. Chip out. If you don't know what that little saying was. Seen hmm? better days. I wonder if it's always looked like this. Um, probably. I mean, it might not have. If you squint, it looks completely different, actually, Sarah. Uh, come on, Sarah Morgan, we've got stuff to do. Anyway, what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by Sarah Morgan is, yeah, that was from Jace and the Wild Warriors, one of my favourite shows when I was a young Steve. Right, OK. Well, there's the actual outpost over there, people, the civilian outpost. It put me freaking miles away from it, so I don't know what the fun, the actual point was of choosing to land there. But we're going to go there because we've got to hit up. Two resources, well, this a wondrous discovery, plus also two resources. Let's see if we can spot any. I should be able to scan that in the ground right now, anyway. So that's the aluminium done, I guess. There you are, that's one resource found located. Has that little rock gone green? I think it has. Or is it still blue? Well, that's blue up there. No, that is green, isn't it? Yeah, that's aluminiums. Okay. So we've got aluminium on this planet. Has this planet also got iron? I think it is iron, the other resource I'm looking for. If that's the case, this would be quite a good planet to put a base on. Okay. We'll scan that. There's a couple of um, rock piles here we can scan. So here we are. Helium-3. Oh, there you go. That's all resources found. Actually, this is helium and aluminium, so it's not iron. We've already got a planet just like this then, people. Scanned. Done. Right, now we can go to that outpost. We go to the civilian outpost mainly because I'm hoping it's going to give us a couple of missions. There it is. It's all the way over there. Freaking heck. That's a long walk. Right, I'll see you there, people. OK, people, something weird is happening. Look, when I run, I'm acting like I've got my cutter or something in my hands. Look. I got a very funny run now, um, and it seems to be a little bit broken. Oh, let's see if I come out of the no, it's the command scan mode. Go back into scan mode. Still broken, and my cutter isn't actually in my hands. So where the fudge has my cutter gone? Oh, there you go. I think I fixed it. There we are. Now it's working. That was just freaking weird. Okay, well we've arrived at this little area, and there's a little robot walking around over there. And there seems to be a little chappy just over there. So we'll go and speak to little chappy. I'll put away my mining tool because I don't want to scare him. There we go. Yeah, let's go and have a little word then. Well, hello. I've come for tea and biscuits. Oh, thank you. Can I help myself to tea? Is this, is this, is this for real? I can have tea. Oh, look, we've got a ground vehicle. I want it. Can I have this ground vehicle, please? Um, there's no seat in your ground vehicle or steering wheel. OK, well, that's shite, isn't it? I'm proud of what we've built here. Not everyone wants to live in a flashy city. Mate, if you built that car, there's a listen. I've been here from the beginning. The outposts come a long way since then. Right, OK, the outpost, maybe. I mean, well, actually, you've got a couple of storage containers and a 
freaking canopy. That's it. There's nothing here. Okay. You, you, you'd rather look at a clipboard than Hi talk there, to traveler. me. Could you spare a moment? Of course, I'm We're talking to you. about the gas rising from the vents nearby. We want to make sure it's safe. So you're going to send me? We need some assistance placing those sensors near the vents. Interested? What's in it for me? I'm happy to. I worked into my busy schedule. Oh yeah, I'm happy to Thank lend a hand. You. Much appreciated. That's that's not what I would ask though. I'd be like, okay. I think about my own I would... life unless someone like you comes around. I'd like to raise my kids in a place like this. Really? Why? There's no playground. There's no freaking nothing, mate. You. You're serious? On you. Okay, great. It's hard to stay informed out here, but I've learned not to miss it. Okay, righto. It looks like we're gonna we picked up a mission to place sensors. Yeah, we've got it. We've got it in hand already. All right, well let's bring up my scanner then. It should give me a little pathway to go or something, shouldn't it? Like little snazzy lines or something. Place gas sensors. I'm going the right way, people. We've got to follow the snail trail. There we go. We're going this way. Heck yes! Over yonder here, placing sensors is my game. Let's go. Let's go. How far have I got to go to place these sensors? All the way over to there, maybe? Okay, then. That could take me a day and a half. All right, I'll see you when I get there, people. Oh. Strike that! Reverse it! I'm running over here. There's a vent thing here. Apparently, I, I think I might need to just place one of... Zero of one. So I think I've only got to place one, maybe? Seems a bit too easy. All right, well, we're here. I'm going to get poisoned doing this, aren't I? Place. There we go. Sarah Morgan, don't stand there too long. Return to the colonist. Is that it? That's that's it. That was the quest. Okay. 200 meters back this way, people. Ha ha this way. Ha ha that way. Ha ha this way. I oh my. A little bit of magic. Magic, magic. A little bit of magic. My oh my. Heck yes. That's from Wizbit, people. If you don't know what Wizbit is, there you go. You've got two things to Google now. Jason the Wheeled Warriors, the theme tune, highly recommended. Wizbit, also the theme tune. Highly recommended. That one's pretty weird. I've always wondered how Wizbit's mum gave birth to Wizbit. Take a look at Wizbit, you'll see what I mean. Okay, yeah, right. There we go. There you go. Mission freaking done, mate. Thanks for everything. Feel free to visit anytime. Is this it? I just get free visiting Here, rights. Take this. For your trouble. What did you give me exactly? It's the best I can do. I'm sure you could have done better, to be honest. I've I've had a lot That's better, to be honest. Feel free to visit any time. All right, okay. Well, don't bring your kids up here. It's just, uh, this this is just bleak. You know, if you bring a kid into this, I, I I don't think they would survive. Okay, right. Okay, brilliant. That's um that's that done then, people. So we've fully scanned this planet. We helped out this little complex, and I uh, think we're about good, people. Let's go back to our shippity ship. I think, peeps. I guess fast travel. Oh, I'd let you see my photos. Okay, chums, it's time for photos. I only took three. So I took this one. There's me looking quite smug with me binding rocks that look like Onyx from Pokemon. And there I am staring off into the vast distance. It's like one of those snow pictures that you can turn upside down. It was well, not snow pictures, sand, sand pictures, one of them. And there's me looking at a um, lovely little well, outpost thing. Go! Cool. There we go. That was my pictures. Heck yes. I, I hope you enjoyed the pictures. I'm just going to do a quick save. Boom. There you go. Hello there, Sarah. I did ask to go back to the ship, like fast travel wise. Didn't happen. We're outside of the ship. But what a glorious ship it is. It's doing us proud, this ship, now that I've upgraded its cargo and made it a little bit less basic. I think I've exhausted all of my dialogues with the Sarah. Yes, yeah. Not at all. Yeah, I've exhausted all dialogues with the Sarah. Yeah, bye indeed. Could take out my uh, good old trusted fan again, couldn't I, people? But uh, you know, it is what it is. So I'm not. I'm good. Do you do that, Sarah? Well, thank you very much. Yes, it's always nice to hear. Right, let's head on over here. 
Let's see what else we've got left to do in this system, people, because we're getting there. We're 88% done. We've got a fair few moons to do, though, like Lovell. We've got to do Lovell. We'll probably do Lovell, the lovely the moon, next time, people. Until then, you guys out there in the viewer bus have been awesome. I guess you have. You know what would be even more awesome, though? If you share my videos. Yes, share the video. Because the more people we can get over here to smash that subscribe button, the closer that we can get to hitting 2,000 subscribers. Hold on, I'm on 30-something thousand subscribers. Well, the, the next number, then. The next meaningful number in the, in the subscriber thing. Anyway, cheery bye. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.